Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through polynomials. Today, let's discuss the remainder theorem in polynomials. In previous session we learned division algorithm of polynomials. If P of X and G of X are two polynomials such that degree of P of X is greater than or equal to degree of g of x and g of x is not equal to zero then we can find polynomials q of x and r of x such that p of x equals g of x multiplied by q of x plus r of x where r of x is either zero or degree of r of x is less than degree of g of x. In the division algorithm, p of x is dividend, g of x is divisor, q of x is quotient, and r of x is remainder. Now let us consider the division by a linear polynomial, that is g of x equals x minus a or x plus a. Now, let us focus on x minus a. If we divide the polynomial p of x of degree greater than or equal to 1 by x minus a, and if r of x is the remainder, then by division algorithm, we can write p of x equals x minus a multiplied by q of x plus r of x, where r of x is either 0 or degree of r of x is less than the degree of divisor x minus a. Here the degree of x minus a equals 1. Since degree of remainder is less than that of divisor x minus a, degree of r of x equals 0. Therefore, r of x can be taken as a constant r. Then we can write p of x equals x minus a multiplied by q of x plus r. In particular, if we put x equals a, we get p of a equals a minus a multiplied by q of a plus r. That is p of a equals r. Hence, if a polynomial p of x is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a, then the remainder is p of a. This is remainder theorem. That is, if any polynomial p of x of degree greater than or equal to 1 is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a, then, the remainder is p of a, where a is any real number. So, how can we find the remainder when p of x is divided by x minus a without doing actual division? Let's find it by following some steps. Step 1. Find the zero of x minus a. For that, put x minus a equals 0, that is, x equals a. Step 2. Find p of a, which is remainder. That is, r equals p of a. Let's do one example. If a polynomial p of x equals x raised to 4 plus 2x cubed, minus 7x square plus x minus 2 is divided by x minus 3. Then, find the remainder. First, let us find the zero of x minus 3. For that, put x minus 3 equals 0. We get x equals 3. Now put x equals 3 in p of x. Then, by the remainder theorem, 
The remainder are equals p of 3. We have p of x equals x raised to 4 plus 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus x minus 2. By remainder theorem, r is equal to p of 3. So, p of 3 equals 3 raised to 4 plus 2 multiplied by 3 cubed minus 7 multiplied by 3 square plus 3 minus 2 equals 81 plus 2 multiplied by 27 minus 7 multiplied by 9 plus 3 minus 2 equals 81 plus 54 minus 63 plus 3 minus 2 equals 73 that is r equals p of 3 equals 73 now, let us verify this result by doing actual division. Hence verified that, the remainder is 73. Similarly, if a polynomial, p of x, of degree, greater than or equal to 1, is divided by, a linear polynomial, x plus a, then the remainder is, p of minus a. For example, find the remainder, when, p of x, equals x raised to 4 minus 3x square plus 2x plus 1 is divided by x plus 2. First, let us find the 0 of x plus 2. For that, put x plus 2 is equal to 0. Then we get x equals minus 2. Then by the remainder theorem, the remainder is p of minus 2. We have p of x equals x raised to 4 minus 3x square plus 2x plus 1. So, p of minus 2 equals minus 2 whole raised to 4 minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 whole square plus 2 multiplied by minus 2 plus 1. Equals 16 minus 3 multiplied by 4 minus 4 plus 1 equals 16 minus 12 minus 4 plus 1 equals 1. Therefore, the remainder is 1. Let's recall what we discussed today. Today we learned the remainder theorem and how to find a remainder p of x divided by a linear polynomial. If any polynomial p of x of degree greater than or equal to 1 is divided by a linear polynomial, x minus a, then the remainder is, p of a. And, is divided by a linear polynomial, x plus a, then the remainder is, p of minus a. Before winding up, let's check, how much you understood by doing an activity. First, find the remainder, if, p of x equals 8x cubed plus 4x square minus 3x plus 1 is divided by x plus 1. Second, find the remainder if p of x equals 6x raised to 4 minus 3x square plus 5x minus 4 is divided by x minus 3. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.